Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Yeah, the old clock says it's five o'clock. Beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Hopefully this is going to be another treat. Uh, this is Knee Deep Brewing's Hopperillo. Hopperillo 3X IPA. This is a triple IPA coming in at 11.3% ABV. The IBUs on this is a whopping 124. So big malt, big hop, big bitterness on this beer. And it's got a lot of condensation on it. I can't tell if there's a date on the bottle or not. This comes from uh, from Serval Liquors or CraftCity.com is their website. They're out of San Diego. Uh, they have an awesome website, guys. Uh, you need to check out CraftCity.com. It's got the beers they have in stock. And in each beer, uh, just about all of them, have either the rate beer or the beer advocate or both ratings on the beer so that it's a nice reference point uh, uh, to go by when you're searching for beers I mean uh, you can't always go by that because beer tastes are subjective but it gives you a nice reference point whether you're uh, you're looking at a 75 beer or a 95 beer so it's a good reference point and and, and, I, and I like that about that site so and if you're in the San Diego uh, San Diego area you can uh, stop by Serval Liquors and uh, hopefully uh, uh, you'll find something that you like there so uh, wish we had a beer store uh, like that here and, and we don't unfortunately but like I told y'all a year or so ago uh, Greg's beer store is liable to be happening sooner than later. Uh, I've got a partner that's interested in opening up a home brew store and we're searching out locations right now. So hopefully I might have some news for you sometime in September whether that's going to happen or not. Uh, if you find us a good place and uh, don't have to pay an arm or leg rent, uh, we're going to try to open up a, a craft beer home brewing supply store and uh, we maybe even do some shipping of some beers. We'll see how that goes. Like I said, uh, I tried this a year or so ago and uh, didn't get very far with it. Uh, but maybe now that I have uh, somebody else interested and uh, another investor, uh, maybe we'll be able to make it pull it off this time. We'll see what happens. So hopefully by the end of September, I'll have some news on that. So let's get back into this beer. Need Deep Brewings Hopperillo Triple IPA. Let's get over to the food pairings. Food pairing is your typical IPA. The cuisine is barbecue. The cheese is a peppery, pe peppery, pepper jack, Monterey, sharp, blue, cheddar. Your more pungent cheeses, gorgonzola, Limburger. And these are just food suggestions, guys. I mean, eat and drink what you like. That's, that's, that's the thing about this. Uh, the meat for this is uh, game, grilled meat, and salmon. Uh, I like just about everything off the grill with a nice IPA. But this is a big beer. This is a leaven plus percent beer so uh, this is definitely uh, a beer you can share being in a 22 ounce bomber like this uh, if you drink uh, one or two of these you're definitely going to have your buzz going on so with that being said I plan on sharing half of this with the other half and uh, and not drinking it all myself so uh, the uh, glassware is a snifter tulip oversized wine glass I got the double glass today and it says here the beer can be cellar because it's a 11.2 percenter, but it's a triple IPA. The hops are going to fade over time, so you want to try to drink these as fresh as possible, unless, a, unless it's a boozy beer. And this one being 11.2 percenter, I think, uh, it could be a little on the boozy side. So uh, hopefully we'll find us a date when we come back and do the final chug on there. I have had a, a knee-deep beer. Probably one or two of them I've done already, but I haven't had this particular one, so. Very nice hiss on this beer. Nice hiss. Into the glass we go. Let's go down the center and see what we can generate here. 11.2%. Oh, yeah. Look at that. 
a good two finger ahead on that pour. Looks pretty clear in the glass too. It is a rich amber color. A little darker than uh, your typical IPAs. This is almost to the golden, I mean to the uh, to the copper color. It is, uh, but it's very clear. A lot of bubbles streaming up. Not a lot, but there are a few bubbles streaming up. You can tell it's well carbonated by the head that it generated. 11% beer with that kind of a head. Very nice. Very well made beer as far as I'm concerned. Kind of got an inclination of what carbonation was when I got that big hiss when I popped the cap on the, on the top there. So let's get a nose on this one. Oh yeah. Definitely big on the West Coast style. Big hop presence. Hopperillo I imagine it would be. Just a hint of that alcohol. Piney, grapefruit, pineapple, mango, tangerine. Maybe some orange peel or something in there. Wow, awesome smell. Very, very pleasant smell on this beer. Very nice nose. Well, let's give it a taste see what we got here. Cheers everybody. Cheers Donovan. Oh yeah. Very, very nice. Just be aware you're drinking an 11 percenter. This is a sipper, not a chugger. Nice and sweet and fruity up front. With 124 IBUs, you would think that would be super bitter. And if it was a single IPA, it may be too bitter. But being a triple with that much malt to produce an 11%, 11 plus percent ABV beer, you need a lot of IBUs to balance out that sweetness. And this has got it. Knee Deep Brewing Hopperillo. Wow. And look at the lacing it's leaving on the glass already. Very, very tasty. But like I said, this is a bomber, 22 ounce one. Uh, got a half a bottle left. I'm going to share with the other half. We're going to sip on this one probably 35, 40 minutes and see what we end up with. But it does have a nice bitterness on the back end. Well, I like these West Coast style beers. I really do. Very, very tasty. Can't wait to get out there and taste the hopefully a bunch more of them so very tasty guys all right we're gonna uh, sip on it for a while and i'll be right back to do the final chug all right guys i'm back got just a little bit left here maybe just a little bit more than a little bit wow very tasty very very tasty for a triple ipa awesome lacing left on the glass here too I've looked at the bottle again, and there is no date. Saddens my heart when these good craft beer companies neglect to step up to the plate and get a dating machine, either for the label or for the bottle. And like I said uh, with yesterday's beer, maybe this stuff flies off the shelf, and they don't—they're just arrogant and don't think they need to to, to, to invest in that machine that does that. But I disagree. I disagree wholeheartedly. Uh, being a consumer and a uh, beer reviewer, that needs to be on the bottle. That way you know when you put your hands on that bottle when that beer was put in that bottle. So you you know, I mean if it's if it's if it's been in a bottle a week, well I I, I got a, a month or so that I can still drink this and get a good hot presence to this beer. But if you look at that date and it's been in the bottle for three months you say well I need to drink this pretty quick because the hops are fading by now and if it's six months or longer in the bottle you need to leave it sitting on the shelf it's uh it's that important it really is even though it's 11.2 percent beer I want to drink these beers as fresh as possible and without the dating I ain't got a freaking clue how old the beer is so and I'm, I'm pretty sure that uh that Donovan has sent me the fresh bottle he has. He 
he wouldn't send me beers <coughs> that were old. I mean, it, it, would, it wouldn't behoove him to send me old beers to review. I mean, it, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be good for his business. It wouldn't be good for his website. It wouldn't be good for me. It wouldn't be good for the beer company. So, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure this is a pretty fresh bottle. But we have no way of knowing that. And, and it's important. It is. Excuse me. <coughs> i got a tickle in my throat. <clears> throat> Maybe I'll hit this one more time. It was an awesome West Coast style triple IPA at 11.2 percent, guys. It is very, very tasty. If you can get your hands on this bottle, D. Deep Brewing's triple IPA Hopperillo, it's definitely worth picking up if you're a hophead like I am. But you, how are you going to know if you go in the store and you see this? How are you going to know how fresh it is? I mean, if you buy this and it's six months old, and you say. Greg, you're full of shit, man. This, this beer was horrible. I mean, yeah, but it's six months old. I mean, it's... But that's the information we need to know as a consumer. And, it's, and like I tell you guys all the time, it's win-win for us and them if they do that. That way you know. But the reason they don't do that, it gives the beer longer shelf life. But it's not a win for them. If you buy a beer that's six or seven, eight months old and it's an IPA, even though it's a triple at 11.2%, it's not going to go bad, but the hops are going to fade so much, you're going to say, well, I'm not going to pay $12 for a 22-ounce bomber, and it tastes like crap because it's eight months old, and we don't know how old the beer is. So, I'm going to keep harping on this, guys. I really am. I mean, these guys that brew these great beers need to step up to the plate and buy a dating machine, either for the bottle or for the label. I'm going to leave it there. Final chug. Look at the lacing on that glass. Awesome beer. Very tasty. Pretty sure this is a fresh bottle. Wow. Pine, grapefruit, pineapple, mango, tropical fruit notes, apple, pears, tangerine. A lot going on with this beer. Very tasty. Definitely worth picking up if you can get your hands on it. And you know it's a fresh bottle. So we're going to leave it at there. Guys, I personally think this is a nine beer, but it's going to get to eight because it has no date on it. So we're going to give it to eight, which is an A minus. Let's see what everybody else thinks. We'll go over to Beer Advocate first. And Beer Advocate says 92, which is in their outstanding range. I agree. It is an outstanding beer. And if I was to put a date on it, a date. If I was to put a grade on it, if I was to put a date on it, I'd put one on it. You can bet your ass on that. If I was to put a grade on it, it would probably be between 90 and 93 since it has no date. If it had a date on it, I'd probably give it a 95 or a 96. It'd probably get to 9. All right, guys. Over to Rake Beer. Rake Beer says 90 overall, which is a good number. But 49 in the style, I don't get that whatsoever. I disagree with that 100%. I don't know why it has a 49 for the style. I don't know why they don't think this fits in as a triple IPA. I think the alcohol is well hidden. I think it's very, very tasty for 11.2%. A lot of hops going on there. So maybe, maybe some of these guys have gotten old bottles. Maybe uh, they don't think it fits in the style because it's been an old bottle or they don't have that information where they can make a, a good assessment of how old the beer is. So another reason why we need that dating on these bottles, either on the label or a legible date in yellow or white that we can visibly read without having to drain the bottle and hold it up to a light to see something written in black. It's that important, guys. It really is. I, don't, I can't stress that enough, how important that is. And, and until these guys get off their ass and, and step up to the plate and, and put a date on their bottle or their label to let us know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to keep harping about it and I'm going to keep cutting them at least a grade point, even though it may even be a 10 beer. But if it don't have a date on it, it's not going to get the damn 10. It's not. That's information us as consumers need to know. 
And until they get off their sorry asses and do that, I'm going to keep harping on them and cutting them grades on that. Even though it's a great beer. So, and it's us as consumers go in and buy these beers, how are we going to know? Has the beer been sitting there a week or has it been sitting there six months? How are we to know that? How are we to know that? So, with that being said, that's the grades everybody's giving it. This is the grade I'm giving it. If you've had this one from Needy Brewing, their Hopperillo Triple IPA, let me know. I loved it, but they need a damn date. All right, guys, that's enough on this. Enough harping, enough flapping my guns. Let's go see what's in the beer tomorrow. Couple openers left. You better holler quick. Going out of town on the 26th. Last ship date on those is the 25th. Let me know if you need one. Let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. See you then.